Sometimes students struggle when they are beginners at reducing fractions. Students are usually more comfortable with multiplication versus division. Therefore, we are going to use multiplication to reduce our fraction. First, you must find a common factor of the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. In this case, a common factor of 32 and 80 is 8. So what we are going to do is we are going to write the common factor of 8 on the top and the bottom of a new fraction bar, and then we are going to multiply each of the 8s by the number that would produce the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. 8 times 4 is 32, and 8 times 10 is 80. The next step in this process is to simply cross out the common factor. Then you must examine the fraction that we have left, in this case 4 tenths, and ask yourself, is there a common factor that remains of the 4 and the 10? If there is a common factor remaining of your new fraction, then you can reduce further. Because 2 is a common factor of 4 and 10, I'm going to write a 2 on the top and a 2 on the bottom, and then multiply those common factors by the numbers that will produce the numerator and the denominator of the fraction 4 tenths. What we have remaining is 2 fifths. If there are no common factors remaining of the numerator and the denominator, we have reduced to lowest terms. So we would say that 32 80ths in lowest terms is 2 fifths. Now notice how at first we did not reduce all the way. We only reduced some of the way, but eventually we kept examining our new fraction and making sure that we could reduce even further.